We're out here today at Airplane Circle and we're going to talk about doing flips. I got my mini tricopter I've been practicing with and I got my Tyrannus here. You can tell this has been through a lot of problems. The uh, arms actually started out all black and they've you know, been replaced a couple of times. This one's on a yellow one, which is actually parts from my tricopter fail flip in that I did a lot of a little while ago. And then pull back on the stick, and it will start coming around like this. I'm going to talk about flipping the tri a mini tricopter like this, or the the same principles apply if you're flying a quadcopter. Now, when you want to do flips, the best thing to do is to start out a very high altitude. That way, if you mess up, you have time to correct yourself before it crashes. Now. The steps for doing flips are pretty similar, you know, no matter which way you're flipping, backward or forward or left or right, it doesn't really matter, all the, all the directions are pretty much the same. First thing you want to do is get some acceleration on your, on your tricopter, and then you want to pull it back, all, pull your right stick back all the way. Now as you're pulling the stick back and the tricopter starts to come like this, you want to start letting off the throttle, because at this point, that it's, if you don't let off the throttle, it's going to start wanting to come backward, and you're going to end up making a real big flip around because it's going to be pulling you all the way around, and you don't want to do that. You want to get nice tight flips, and uh, it'll look a lot cooler. So as you go up and you start pulling back in your, on your aileron stick, you want to let off the throttle and don't drop it all the way to zero because this is a tricopter and this is the only thing that makes it move. It doesn't have any wings that help it glide. So you don't ever want to turn the throttle off all the way because you will fall because you have no control at that point because your propellers aren't moving. So as you come back around like this, you want to drop your throttle to about 30-40%. Let the tricopter come on around and it will come around it will come around slowly or quickly depending on how fast you're going and uh, when it starts to get back to where it's almost facing up at about a 45 degree angle about like this you can turn your turn your throttle back up and try to level out the quadcopter or the tricopter and try to catch it and by catch it I mean get it back to level and regain full control of it at the uh, horizontal position like this so we'll go over the steps again you want to give it some acceleration up pull back on the stick, let off the accelerator. As it comes around, then you want to resume the uh, throttle, put it back up, and catch it back like this. And like I said, when you cut the throttle down, you want to cut the throttle down to just under half, 40, 30%. Don't cut it all the way because you will flip, or you will uh, lose control of your uh, quadcopter or tricopter because the propellers will not be moving anymore and your right thumb stick will become <laughs> interoperative because there's no throttle telling the propellers what to do. So here we'll go ahead and get this powered up and start uh, trying to do some of these flips. It is about a 19 mile an hour wind out here today. I just checked it on my phone before we started. Well anyway, what we want to do, we'll be flying it and your throttle will be up here, you know, around 60%, 70%, something like this. And you want to increase the throttle, then you want to start to pull back on your uh, aileron, and as it comes back, you let off the throttle, bring it down, bring it down to about 40%. Make sure your aileron is all the way back. As it starts to come around, then let your then bring your aileron back to the center. And as you're doing that, raise your throttle back up to about 60% or higher, or maybe even all the way to catch it from uh, dropping too much and uh, losing too much altitude. Then, then once you have control of it again, put the throttle back down to where you want it. All right, let's try this. So, like I said, usually you want to start up pretty high, but in this case, I'm going to try to keep it low so you can see it. Now, like I said, you want to give it some throttle, pull back, and then when it comes around, catch it. So we'll, we'll try that. Here we go. There we go. That was a pretty good flip. And again, what I'm doing is I'm pulling back on the, I'm giving it a, a little bit of throttle and then pulling back on a stick, easing off the throttle. And then uh, when it comes around, increase the throttle back up and catch it with my right aileron stick. Here we go. And see, that one didn't actually lose much altitude, so that was pretty good. One more thing I wanted to talk about is how fast the tricopter flips around or your quadcopter. Now if your stick scaling is set pretty low, you're going to have a long flip. It's going to go flip about, you know, one, two, three, four seconds around to get all around. It, it could be, you know, four, five, six seconds. You don't know if you haven't done it before. So you want to make sure you're up high, very high, as high as you can see it you know, safely see it, and you want to try to flip it, and you want to see how fast it's flipping. Now, 
Uh, if it's not flipping very fast, on a KK2 board, it's called stick scaling. You gotta go into your stick scaling and increase it up by about five at a time and you're gonna notice a difference on how fast it flips. Go up five, flip it a couple of times, bring it down, land it, go back on your stick scaling, raise it up five more, try it again, and you'll get to where the thing can flip over in about half a second. Woo! Like that. And that was a little, <laughs> about one second. But it'll flip over a lot faster with the six stick scaling up high. Now if you're running a NASA 32 board, you need to increase your rates. Your rates uh, need to go up. If you get it up to about 1.0 or better, you're going to be flipping pretty fast, which is actually really fun to do as I've learned in my with my uh, ZMR250. Anyway, here we'll, we'll try this again and on this KK2 board my stick scaling is actually at, I believe it's at 96 today. So you come into the menu, stick scaling and actually my aileron rolls are at 107 and my pitch uh, is at 100, my elevator. And then my yaw is 75 and throttle is 80. But one, 107 and 100 is what I have on here. And I have the aileron set up a little higher so that it flips sideways a little faster because I think it looks cooler when it flips sideways. Remember I'm, what we're going to do is give it some throttle, get it to get some upward momentum, pull it back, let off the throttle, have it come all the way around and as it comes back out to about a 45 degree angle or less, turn the throttle back on and get it back up to level and try to catch it with your right thumbstick by balancing it and getting it level again. And again, I'm going to try this kind of low, just so you can see it. And I'm going to give it some throttle, pull back, have it flip around and catch it. There, that was pretty good. Let's see if I can get it here a little closer. Like I said, we're going to pull back, or give it some throttle, pull back, cut the throttle, have it flip around, put the throttle back up and catch it. There we go. And the same thing's true if you're going to do your rolls. You give it some acceleration, crank it to the right, and uh, when it comes back around, give it the throttle back on and catch it. And I'll go to the left. I'll try to go forward. One other thing I wanted to show you in the last part of this is how to do a takeoff flip. Now to get to a takeoff flip, your, your uh, sensitivity has to be up pretty high because what you're going to do is you're going to pull up in the air and right up, right up about here about six feet in the air, you're going to pull it back and do a flip and take off forward. Now the trick is to, when it, when it flips around, you don't want it to go all the way back level. You want it to come back around and get at about a 45 and then take off and have it just keep going out into the blue yonder there. So here, we'll give this a try. Let me get my quadcopter line, or tricopter lined up here. Okay, so here we go. That was pretty intense. I've done this a couple times practicing before I made this video, and boy, it scares me every time. But that was pretty quick. Now, like I said, if you're going to do this, you need to make sure that you have your stick scaling set up pretty high because it's going to, it needs to flip, and it needs to flip fast. And you got to be ready, you know, as soon as you take off to pull the stick back, and you got to be watching it to, you know, know, it, know when to cut the throttle back on. We'll try it again. That was a little bit higher. That's probably eight or ten feet in the air when I flipped. Still was pretty cool. It's pretty fun when you fly with your friends who aren't very good at flipping and they see you take off like that. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> at least it feels good to me anyway. So this has been a video on trying to help you learn how to do your first flips. And uh, if you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments. I will be glad to help you. Now just one more time for a review. The first thing you want to do is go high high up in the air because you want to make sure that your stick scaling is set appropriately and that you don't have this big you know ten or three or four second flip to where you're going to hit the ground before you get actually get all the way around once you know about how far your flip is going you can start increasing your stick scaling on a kk2 or your rates on a nasa 32 board until it starts making tighter circles now when you do that it's going to become more sensitive so you might want to turn up your expo a little bit but it is doable and if you make small increments you'll get better and better at it and it won't be too big of a change from what you're used to anyway 
This has been a video about tricopters and flips and quadcopters. Questions? Leave them in the comments. I'll answer them the best I can. And subscribe because I got some other good videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Elijah, it's enough name calling. Oh my gosh.